August 6 of 2021, a 22-year-old man by the name of Matthew Tuan Antran took a cocktail of mind-altering drugs that led to some very poor decisions throughout that day. You're about to witness Tran's final poor decision. The footage you're about to see comes from Officer Mark Millward's body cam in front of the La Habra Police Department in California. It's very graphic and disturbing, and your discretion is advised. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. What's going on here? Uh, I'm just seeing somebody right now. Okay. Are you uh, associated with these cars? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, they'll get you in a sec, okay? All right. This guy? Hey, geez. Hey, hey, hey! Toxicology would find these drugs in trans system. Amphetamines, a synthetic mood-altering drug which is legally prescribed to treat children with ADD and adults with narcolepsy, but like any potent stimulant, it has street value and is sold illegally. They also found methamphetamines, a derivative of amphetamines, which in comparable doses delivers a greater amount to the brain, generating longer lasting effects, but greatly harms the central nervous system. Dextroamphetamine, a central nervous system stimulant that increases dopamine and norepinephrine levels to the brain, which improves focus and reduces impulsivity. One of the primary chemicals along with amphetamine that is found in Adderall. THC the chemical in marijuana responsible for the psychological effects. Now, marijuana is an interesting drug. It's categorized as a stimulant, a depressant, and hallucinogen. I read that when it's mixed with the likes of Adderall in an already unstable mind, it could trigger hallucinations, paranoia, and delusions. So how did Matthew Tran end up here? We're gonna have to rewind 40 minutes to 6.25 p.m. earlier that evening when a female motorist makes a nervous call to 911. My name is Killian and welcome to True Crime Stories. At approximately 6.25 p.m., a female driver whose identity has not been released was driving northbound on the I-5 freeway when she noticed a dark colored car behind her seemed to be mirroring her lane changes. It became more apparent that she was being followed when she switched freeways to the 57 North and so did the dark vehicle. She had no idea who the driver was or what the problem could be. She takes a random exit and sure enough, the vehicle exits along with her and is now tailgating her at unsafe distances. Now completely shaken by the oddity of the situation, she calls her mom in a panic, and at 7.03 p.m., she calls the police. Hi, I'm currently getting followed, and I'm gonna drive to the police station. Okay, how far away are you? I'm like three minutes away. I'm on Mojave Boulevard near Wingstop. Okay, what kind of car is following you? It's a Toyota, an old Toyota. It's all black. Do you have a license plate number? I can't see it. They're like tailgating me. Okay, was there some type of road rage incident or what happened? I don't know. Like, I, I, they've been following me since the freeway. I don't know if I cut them off or anything. I don't know. I just. Oh, okay. Yeah, they've been following me since the freeway. Okay. And every turn I do, they follow me. Okay, have they done anything to you or said anything to you? No. And it's an older model black Toyota. Is it a truck or sedan? It's a sedan. And it's male a male driver. It's a male. Anybody else in there with him? No. All right. Have you approached the Hover Boulevard yet? Well, you hit Cypress before the or before you quit. I'm sorry. I'm on Cypress right now. Okay. And he's still behind you. Yeah. I've been making turns and he's been following me every time I put the lane, he follows me. Okay, that's fine. But he hasn't said anything or tried to hit your car or anything like that, correct? No, he's just been tailgating. What kind of car are you in? I'm in the Volkswagen, a blue one, a Passat. A Passat? Yeah. Uh, I'm 
never been to the police station? Do I just go to the front on Euclid? Yeah, just pull right in front of the station. So on Euclid, you'll make a right and then just pull over where you see the doors. Hopefully, he'll just uh, continue on. Okay. Are you there? Are you here already? Yeah. I'm outside. Okay. He's still behind me. Okay. Did he pull over? Oh, my God. Yeah. Ma'am. Okay. What is he doing? Oh. He's reversing. Okay, is he? And parking. Reversing and parking? I have my headlights on. Okay, hold on one second. Can anyone come outside? Like, I'm really scared. I'm, ca I'm calling someone right now. I'll just keep you on the line, okay? Matthew Tran, even after seeing the woman park directly in front of a police station, it did little to deter him from doing the same. As he watched her run to the front door, he got out of his car and went after her, only to find they had locked him out. It seemed that situational awareness had left Tran's thought process. He stood at the intercom and simply waited. At 7.08 p.m., officers Mark Millward and Abigail Fox arrive on the scene. We'll start again with Officer Millward's cam as he and Fox make cursory glances into the vehicles. Fox will hang back at the female driver's blue Passat to assess the situation as her partner Millward approaches the suspect. Hi. Hi. How's it going? Good. What's going on here? Uh, I'm just seeing somebody right now. Okay. Are you uh, associated with these cars? Uh, no. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, they'll get you in a sec, okay? Officer Millward tells the suspect that he'll get back to him in a minute. Given Tran's rather docile, forthcoming response, he felt safe enough to turn his back on him. Officer Fox, still staying back, stays vigilant, and it's a good thing she does. Matthew Tran calmly takes a gun from his waistline and cocks it as he leans around the structure aiming directly at Officer Millward's back. Officer Fox immediately screams. Millward turns around and Tran gets off two shots. Unfortunately, one bullet pierces his body armor. He falls to the ground in severe pain, fully believing he was going to die. Where are you hit? Where are you hit? On the chest, Bob. Okay, you're okay. Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. 1033, suspect is down. I've got an officer down. We need help. Officer Fox immediately shoots at Tran five times, three connecting, hitting him on the right thigh, body, and a headshot. Tran's body seized up in a manner and position which made it unclear to Officer Fox if Tran was still a threat, with his hand still clutching the handgun. Drop the gun now! Suspect, drop the gun! Suspect, drop the gun or I'll shoot you again! Drop the gun or I will shoot you again! Once paramedics arrive, they attend to Officer Millward. He was still writhing on the ground and frighteningly was unresponsive when paramedics repeatedly asked him where he was shot. You're good. You're good. You're good. Where are you shot at? 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 Where's he shot at? Where's he shot at? Hey, no one. Where's he shot at? Where's he shot at? Where's he shot? In the chest. In the chest. Where? He said in the chest. You're good. You're good. You're good. Hey, he's relax. still got the gun. I can't relax, look. Relax, relax, relax. Hey, get him. Let's get him out. Get him out. Help me drag him out. Hey, help me drag him out. He was immediately transported to the hospital. Tran was declared dead at 7.26 p.m. Little is known why he behaved the way he did that day or his relationship with the female driver, if there was one. All we can say for sure was he had a plethora of drugs in his system and he took his motives with him to the grave. If anyone watching this video would like to share any information I might have missed, please do. We'd love to read it. Officer Mark Millward would spend the next seven days at the hospital and would make a full recovery, reportedly eager to get back to serving his community. Officer Abigail Fox was placed in a terrible situation, but her quick response and accuracy probably saved a few lives that day because Tran seemed 
dead set on killing people without discrimination. And if you're one of those people that feels Officer Fox allowed her partner to be shot by not shooting first and asking questions later, fuck you. I read a few of these kind of comments in other threads, and it makes me sick. This ain't a movie. The situation escalated in a matter of seconds, so her yelling first was most likely to get the gunman's attention away from her exposed partner and onto herself who was shielded by a car. But Tran's Adderall laced mind was focused on killing her partner and probably didn't even hear her. Officer Abigail Fox deserves a medal and I hope she's doing well spiritually and mentally. My name is Killian. Protect the ones you love and don't forget to show love to the ones that protect you.